Man, check out this premium workspace right here. Well, belt loop got hung up. Oh. Oh. Finally got what I'm looking for. What's going on everybody? I hope y'all are having a great day. I am so far. We gotta make one last trip to the hardware store to get the rest of the supplies and we should be good to go to start putting the wall up. I gotta pick up some purlins, some more insulation, a couple more tap cons, and I might see what their prices are on some cordless tools. Most of the time Amazon's cheaper, so hopefully they got some good deals. Maybe something will be on sale. I started with a 20 volt system from DeWalt, so that's what I'm gonna stick with. I've got the brushless angle grinder. I got the 20 volt brushless three speed impact. I really want to get the big half inch 20 volt impact wrench especially when the shop's done and i can work on vehicles it'll be nice to have but yeah i know there are a lot of milwaukee fanboys out there and i think both of them are great tools i know many people who have used dewalt tools for years and never had any issues it's one of those things man it's just like buying cars trucks everybody's got their preference dewalt's got good prices and that's what i decided to go with and that's what i'm going to stick with most of you guys out there that are fanboys of these companies don't care about you anyways shoot ryobi's got good tools whatever you like whatever you can afford use what you want and use what works Well, after spending about an hour and a half inside Lowe's, man, I can't get out of that place. I ended up getting the storage totes too. I was pricing things out, of course, and um, I was looking at like the cheaper storage totes, and these are like the heavy duty craftsman totes. And honestly, everything online, like these are the same price as the cheap ones, and these things look tough. So I ended up with all of these. I got 14 bats of insulation. I got 18 purlins. I got some foam for the metal and the nice lady at Lowe's gave me 5% off just because I gave her a smile. So once again, I'll add everything up after I'm done with this, but this stuff isn't cheap guys. But I know the end result will be worth it as long as I don't lose my storage totes out of the back. My strap wasn't long enough. I'm just eager to get back home and start knocking some stuff out. <laughs> Check that out guys, we have a wall started. So this is the idea that I came up with for the insulation. It allows me to fit the wool insulation bat in sideways and just stack them up to the top. And it's pretty tight in there, so it looks like it's gonna be sealed pretty good. Now as you can see, all of these beams are flush with the four x four. So I inset the purlin into the beam so I can screw my metal into this and we don't have to come out here any farther than we already are. But this is what I came up with. I'm super happy with it. The bat just weaves between the three studs and Easy as that.
That's a good one. I don't want to start that discussion. Oh. I love these. They'll do good. Head to the gym. Gotta get the Michael Gaines. Oh my god, you can't put that in there. <laughs> That's a test. I don't think Gaines watches the video, so you'll never know. It's a hot one out. Yeah. How's it coming? We're making progress. Are you happy with it? Oh, I'm really happy with the design I came up with. Good. Just, you know how it goes, a trip to Lowe's, you know, I got 30 minutes there and 30 minutes back, yeah. hour and a half, two hours at Lowe's, so that yeah. took up most of the day and I didn't get as much done as I was hoping, but hopefully we can get started on that shelf finally. Where it all began. <laughs> the stupid shelf. I'm about to try and do some flashcards. While we're driving? Yeah. Nice. I need to memorize these vitals. What are you studying for? Show them what number 10 is, Lex. I must slow down immediately. How's your gym day going? It's great. My arms are burning. Look at my heart rate throughout the day, though. Attention deficit, getting school. Your arms are too long to put in the frame. With the meat <laughs> you suck. I have one more. Which one do you think the you one, can do? The one down there. I say try this one right here first, just no. to see. This no. one right here. No. Give it a try. No. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. I don't even know if you'll be able to do that big one. Yeah. I can do that. Yeah, I know. Do the semi tire over there. There's no way. Dude, you got that all day long. Dude, yeah. That is hard on your legs. Good job. You get two in a row. You get three. Come on. One more. I wonder how heavy this thing is. I guess this thing's a monster. It is a monster. <laughs> I'm trying this one. <laughs> I just, there's nowhere to grip this one like the other one. Like the treads are like on the ground, so you can't get your hands underneath. Underneath. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't throw out your back. Man, you could do it. Because you got it, like, I think you could do it. Oh, I'm a foot big daddy. I just need to, it's our hands dirty. supposed to do with these things? Like, throw them up in here. <laughs> I'm going to flip it to the end. Oh, my God. Oh, maybe not.
All right, guys, it's going on nine o'clock. I'm out here stumbling over stuff. It's over for the day. I've sweated out my entire weight, but we got a lot done. I didn't get any metal up. I know we said we were gonna try to, but you know what? I'm happy with the progress, and tomorrow for sure, we will have some metal up. Definitely starting to look like something here. And like I said, I'm super happy with the design, and we're about a third of the way done. Thank you all for watching if you made it this far. Once again, appreciate the support. I'm glad there's a lot of you out there that are enjoying these videos. So there will always be building DIY carpentry videos on the channel, because there's always projects around here so i'm glad you all enjoy that but until tomorrow's video i hope you all are having a great week i hope you have a good day tomorrow and i will see you then